Hey guys, good morning, hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. It's Debsy in the place to be. It's Debsy, that's me, Debsy. So, good morning everybody. It is 41 degrees here in western Pennsylvania. <coughs> it is raining. Oh, it is raining, and I'm, as you can see, I am not up, and... I'm not awake. I am up, but I'm not awake. It's going to take a while for me to get awake. Um, it's uh, it's Sunday right now, and I'm pre-filming a bunch of videos um, for next week. So you'll probably see this on Tuesday. Um, I want to film, I want to film a, a bunch of videos so that in case I just, um, I want to get ahead of my, any possible, um, funk that I have next week. Um, I'll call it funk. It, um, any kind of little tiny, um, little episodes of depression that I might slip into this way. There's something out there or it might not even be the little bouts of depression. It might just be, um, just laziness where I just don't feel like doing anything including getting in my car, sitting here, and talking. Um, so there's that. Um, I'm just, it's just how it is. Um, like I said, at some point I'm going to get into, I'm going to get into all of that. Um, that will be in a later video. I like to keep my videos nice and funny and all that, but there will be some, there will be some talks, um, in the future. Was I thinking red table talks? No, nope, we're not going to get into that situation. Maybe later. Um, but anyways, um, there will be some gray Toyota talks. So yeah, I'm going up to get my coffee and you know, I went past every, every morning when I go to get my coffee, I have to go past my, my high school, um, my high school alma mater. I live in my hometown. And, um, I had seen that they're putting on the, that's, it is the season, tis the season for high school musicals. Well, in my alma mater is putting on Rock of Ages. I would, I would be interested in going to see that because, um, it's based on, I mean, that it's comprised of, it includes, um, music from the eighties. And I, w I was not that big a fan of the movie version of it um, with Tom Cruise. I mean, it was okay, but I can't even remember who else was in it besides Tom Cruise. Um, I just remember him singing into, I can't even remember the actresses. I remember him singing, I want to know what love is into some actress's vagina like it was a microphone. Oh God. How many times have I had a quarter for every time that happened? <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> I'm back. Barista had a look about him. I don't know what the look is though. I mean, he kind of had, I don't know. He kind of looked like a cross between. Yep. I did that because I don't have, I don't have that many fingernails. <laughs> I, don't that, I don't have that many finger, uh, fingernail, that many fingernails. I bite my fingernails to, I, ch I chew on my fingernails like it's, like it's the, um, buffet golden corral. I know, disgusting. And for somebody who is so, like, so adamant about cleanliness, ugh, I wish I could stop. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. So, that guy, I don't know, he was a, he looked like, he kind of looked like, um, Bradley Cooper, real young, with his hair grown out like a lot not long but like bangs he was heavy on the bangs but i mean who am i to talk I, he probably looked at me and was like holy shit you look like 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 nick nolte's mugshot come to life or gary Busey's mugshot come to life so who knows um yeah so, yeah, High School Musicals. They're putting on Rock of Ages. I would really like to go see that. I, I, I was thinking maybe I could get tickets 
for me and my mom. I don't know if my mom would enjoy it though because 80s, 80s music, I don't know. I did take her years ago to go see, um, to go see Jersey Boys in Pittsburgh um, for her birthday. I had, well, I got two tickets thinking that her, my dad would go. Well, my father, he was, he was not, he, no, that was not his bag, his, that was not his bag at all. Like, for many reasons. Number one, he doesn't like people. Number two, he doesn't like um, a lot of music. <laughs> Number three, he doesn't, he didn't like, he hated Pittsburgh. He, he, number four, he didn't want to put on for real pants. Um, I can, I can get behind that. Um, the pants thing. Um, but we went, it was really good. I, I loved, I actually loved that, that's, that, um, musical, Jersey Boys. It was good. We, um, I had gone to see Legally Blonde, the, um, CLO, the, uh, CLO, like, in Pittsburgh put it on. That was good. Um, what else? We went to see Mamma Mia. Oh, that's my mother's favorite movie. We went to see Mamma Mia in Pittsburgh. Um, we went to see, oh, Mean Girls 2019. I took my best good Judy. I got us tickets at the Benedim for, um, for her birthday. That's, that's one of her favorite movies. I've seen that movie at least, a, at least a thousand times. And then on Broadway, like, probably 10 years ago, we saw Rent. Um, and that was, that was phenomenal. Loved it. Cried. Loved it. Loved it. And then we saw it twice when it came to Pittsburgh. Um, and that, and I'm going to tell you, and that's going to bring me to, honestly, then that makes me think of that movie Tick, Tick, Boom with, oh my God, with Andrew Garfield. I'm going to tell you this ahead right now. Um, it was, I loved, 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 loved that movie. That was 500 out of 10. I loved that movie. And, uh, and it was, a, it was about the story of Jonathan Larson, the guy who wrote Rent and his struggle to actually, you know, write a play that, that, that was picked up and, and it was before Rent and he, he actually, he wrote Rent and then he died like the day before it opened so he never got to see it. But Andrew Garfield is, as Jonathan Larson was just uh, like amazing. I, since watching that movie, I have become obsessed with Andrew Garfield. Just, just wow. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. But, um, yeah, so I, I, I enjoy a musical, but it kind of has to be m music that's, um, kind of has to be music that's contemporary. Oh, we're going to be going to see my nephew, <coughs> my nephew, um, Isaiah. He's, um, he's in the drum club, his high school drum club, and they're putting on, he's a, he's a soft, no, he's a freshman. And they're putting on Fiddler on the Roof. And he's in the ensemble. But he had said the ensemble does a lot. Um, and he's also in the um, wedding scene where he does the um, bottle dance. I had no idea what that was. And then he said to me, go on to YouTube and just type in Fiddler on the Roof um, wedding scene bottle dance or Fiddler on the Roof bottle dance. And I typed it in and wow he has to he has to dance with a bottle on his head and they and they go they dance around but then they get down on their knees and they have to like pull themselves with their knees jeez he probably he said he's been practicing a lot I said is it a glass bottle and he says oh no it's not a glass bottle it's a plastic bottle but it's not taped to our hat uh, to our to our heads at all it's it, no so yeah go Izzy 
So I'm excited. I'm real excited. I'm real excited to see him in the role and um, in the play. I'm sure he's gonna do great. And we're gonna go in a couple. We're gonna go in a couple weeks. Um. So I gotta figure out. I don't know if I'm gonna bring something for him or what to give him afterwards. But yeah, I think this week, or this this week, today, um, it's it's 40 degrees, it's cold. I'm really going to try my absolute hardest to start um, Only Murderers in the Building. Um, because, like I said, I heard, I heard the rumor that Paul Rudd is gonna be on the new season. I mean, even if Paul Rudd isn't gonna be on the new season, um, I should broaden my horizons and start watching some new stuff. I just, because I'm paying for, oh my gosh, I'm paying for Netflix, Hulu, Paramount, and HBO Max, and I haven't, I haven't, I haven't watched anything on Paramount Max in, since I tried to watch the, the, um, real world New York reunion. And at first I was like, hooray. But then I was like, Ugh, I don't know about this. So I don't know. I should get rid of that. I just, I really should. I don't, I mean, the only thing that's on there that I would possibly, I don't even know what's on there. And as I'm saying, I should get rid of that. Wasn't I thinking yesterday, you know, maybe I should get that Disney plus bundle because I love, love, because it would include ESPN. And I'm going to tell you, I love Peyton Manning. I love, I love Peyton Manning. I'm from Western Pennsylvania. I'm a Steelers fan, but I love Peyton Manning. I have always loved Peyton Manning. And I just want to watch his, um, I want to watch that, that show. I think it's called Peyton's Places or something like that. Um, I think he's funny. I just do. I like him. So I feel like I want to watch that. So I'm thinking about, I don't know. I probably won't. Hold on. So yeah, it's the perfect day. It's starting to rain again. It is the perfect, perfect, perfect day to, um, just get under a blanket and, <clears throat> and watch some TV that is after I do all of my um, videos. So, okay, I'm gonna get going, can go upstairs, have my breakfast, and have my breakfast. What's going on here with this? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, things are going all off all over the place. So I'm gonna go upstairs, have my breakfast, start the day. And I hope everybody has a great, is having a great day. If nobody's told you already yet today, I love you. You're loved, seen, and heard. Please always remember to put kindness, love, compassion, and acceptance out there because it's so badly needed right now. And it will always come back at you. So everybody, bangs are terrible today. So everybody have a great day and I'll see you later. Love you. Bye.